question paper problems on slope deflection method, but for friends. So we have taken around four to five question papers. So first we have this problem. Analyze the frame. This was solved by Akshada. Uh, and I have prepared its presentation. So we have this problem and we have to analyze it by slope deflection method. Now kinematic indeterminacy, we have two theta b and theta d. But if we will use modified slope deflection equation, then we have that will be one. Now frame is non sway frame because we have fixed support to the beam or we have simple support to the beam. And therefore we do not have the sway over there. Then fixed end moments we have as usual. Now I will not tell this one because we know now formulas of uh, loading for fixed end moments. So minus W A B square by L square. Then we have for B A W A square B by L square. And we have this value. Then we have member B D minus W L square by 12 and um, D B W L square by 12. BC, we have no loading, so zero values of fixed end moments. Then we have slope deflection equations. So we know theta A is zero, we have delta zero, so we have fixed end moments and theta B only. So we have equation one that will be MAB minus 35.56 plus 4 by 3 EI theta B. Similarly, we can go for MBA with fixed end moment and theta B only, so this is equation number two. Now switch over to member BC. So we have uh, MF BC and then again we have theta C zero now, we have theta B and delta only. So we have EI theta B. So no loading, so fixed end moments is not there. Delta is also zero, theta C is also zero. And similarly for MCB, we will get it as EI by 2 theta B, which will be equation 4. Now for BD, we are going to use modified slope deflection equation. So we are going to replace D by B and therefore we have this equation. Now substituting values of fixed end moment and value of delta at 0, we are going to get equation for MBD. Now knowing this equation, we will go for equilibrium equation or we can say that is joint equilibrium. So joint equilibrium we have that is BA plus BC plus BD that is equal to zero. And then using equations two, three and five, we will get equation which will be in terms of theta B only. And we will have this value of EI theta B, knowing value of theta B, we can find final moment. So we have MAB minus 30.98, MBA 26.94, then MBC, we have 3.435 kilonewton meter and MCB, 1.72 kilonewton meter. MBD, we have minus 30.32 kilonewton meter. Then we have BMD by superposition. So this is given frame. And then we have BMD by superposition. So we have value of MAB, you can see this. So we have this value 30.98. And then BA, we have 26.94. So accordingly, we have these values. So we have 26.94 at D, we have zero. And this value, we can have 3.435 and value at CB as 1.72. So likewise, we will have this BMD due to final movements. And BMD due to simple support, we have WAB by L for 80 kilonewton in AB and WL square by 8 for BD. CB, we do not have any load, so we do not have any simply supported moment. Then we have, this was in August 2018, so we have DK actually two, that is theta B and theta C. But as we are going to use modified slope deflection equation, and therefore this becomes one, which will be theta B. Theta C, we are going to replace by theta B. Then we have fixed end moment, so for AB, we have two loads. So one that is UDL, which will be minus WL square by 12. And then second, we have that is WAB square upon L square, which will be for that eccentric load. And we have this value minus 54 kilonewton meter. Then we have MFBA, 
W L square by 12 plus W A square B by L square and value is 71.23 kN. Then go for B C as no loading, so fixed end moments are zero over here. Then step three, we have M A B, so we have theta A zero and delta zero because frame is non-sweep frame as B M is with fixed support. And then we have this M A B in terms of fixed end moment and theta B, so we have this will be equation one. Then we will go for equation two, which will be for M B A, and then we have this is again with fine fixed end moments and theta B. Then we will have by member B C, which we are going to use modified slope with deflection equation. But as we have M F B C and M F C B zero, so we will come across only theta B. And then we have this equation that will be equation V R number three. And then we are going to use this equation two and three, and we are going to apply joint equilibrium. And we have this joint equilibrium M B A plus B C zero, and then using that equilibrium equation, that is Z joint B M B A plus M B C zero, using two and three, you will get this equation in terms of E I theta B, and we have E I theta B that is minus twenty five point four four. Now substitute this value of E I theta B in equation one, two, and three. We will get M A B minus eighty eight point three five kilonewton meter. Similarly, we can find B A. Which will be 30.53 kilonewton meter. Then M B C we have minus 30.53 kilonewton meter. And then we have to plot E M D by superposition. So we have first values. You can see this minus 88.35. So we will have hogging. Then 30.53 at B A hogging and M B C. So you can see this M B C we have anti-clockwise so it will take beam outside so we have 88.53 you can see the values 88.53 and 30.53 and that values we have plotted over here and then for a a b we have to go for this value so we have to find reaction over here for 10 kN per meter and 70 kN and then we have to find bending moment under 70 kN where we have shear force zero means if you calculate the reaction then we are going to get these values over here reaction at a and reaction at b and then we can find moment over here then we can have uh, next problem which was by in may 2018 solved by rutuja and then we have this will be dk again 2 as frame is symmetrical with center by all means and therefore we are going to be this frame as non sway frame and therefore we have two unknowns theta b and theta c we have same c type of frame but delta 0 as fixed end moment 0 for ab as no load cd also we do not have any load so it is also zero so we have fixed end moments are only for bc and cb so cd we have zero then we have slope deflection equations mab ma now we have theta is zero we have delta zero so it will be with theta b only and no fixed end moments so no Value for M F A B. So we have E I two theta B. Similarly, we can have M B A again. No fixed end moment, so it is only in terms of theta B. Now we have equation two. Now we will go to member B C. We have two unknowns in this member. That is theta B also and theta C also. No delta will be considered in this one because member B C is beam and this is only displaced. We do not have that will be only shifted. We do not have any displacement for member B C. So delta is not there. In beams, and then we are going to get this value minus 120 plus 4 because we have two E I for B C, so we have to substitute E I equal to 2, and we have equation for B C minus 120 plus 4 by 3 E I theta B plus 2 by 3 E I theta C. Then similarly, we can write for C B, and that we will have uh, M C B 120 plus 2 E I by 3 theta B plus 4 E I by 3 theta C. Now we can go for M member C D. So we have MFCD. Now we have theta d zero. We have delta zero. So equation is in terms of only theta c because MFCD is also zero. So we have E I theta c, which will be equation five. And then we have equation six, which is related with M D C again only with theta c. Now knowing this, we can go for equilibrium equation, joint equilibrium first at B and then at C. So at B we have M B A plus M B C zero. So using equation. Two and three, we are going to get <coughs> first equation that is seven by three e i theta b plus two e i by three theta c equal to one twenty. And then for joint C, we have M C B plus C D zero equation four and five, 
and by this we are going to get another equation which will be 2ei by 3 theta b plus 7ei by 3 theta is equal to minus 20 minus 120 and solving this equation a and b we will get ei theta b 72 and ei theta c minus 72 values magnitude should be same because we have symmetric infinite and then remember in moment so we have m a b 36 m b a 72 kilo newton meter m b c we have minus 72 kilo newton meter m c b we are going to get it as 72 kilo newton meter m c d we have minus 72 and m d c minus 36 and then we are going to plot this so given frame so we have this value first minus 36 uh, plus 36 clockwise then at b we have again clockwise then here we have both values one is minus at b c and c b we have plus so we have 72 values for this also and then we have for this anti-clockwise at c and again anti-clockwise at d we will have this will be final moments and then we can have simply supported moment which will be at center wl square by 8 and we will get this value as uh, 180 kilo newton meter then we will switch over to fourth problem which was asked in may 2019 and uh, we have again the same actually problem if you will see last and this so we have non-sway problem and uh, we have uh, a b and c d do not have any load so we have uh, fixed end moments are zero over here then we have only fixed end moments for b c and then that will be remember b c minus w l by 8 and c b w l by 8 and then we have that member b and c which are cantilever and we are going to get minus 20 for b e sorry plus 20 for b you can see this it will develop moment that will be clockwise so this load will develop anti-clockwise moment so fixed end moments will be clockwise 20 and here it will develop clockwise so fixed end moment for cf will be anti-clockwise which will be minus so b will be plus and uh, cf will be minus and then we have slope deflection equations for member a b we have again theta a zero we have delta zero and we will have only with uh, theta b because fixed end moment is also zero Similarly, we can go for BA and this will be equation 2. Now we have member BC. Now we have load over air. So we have fixed end moment. Theta B is there. Theta C is there. Delta is 0. And we will get over this value, the equation that will be minus 50 plus EI theta B plus EI 2 theta C. And then MCB, we are going to get it as 50 plus EI by 2 theta C plus EI theta C. So this will be fourth equation. Go to MCB. So we are going to get here theta d0, delta 0, and fcd0. So only in terms of ei theta c, we have mcd. And similarly, mdc in terms of theta c only. So we have this will be mdc. Now, knowing this, we have to go for equilibrium equations. Then at joint B, we have MBA plus MBC. Now, plus MBE, we have three moments over there. So we cannot write equation for us, uh, equation of slope deflection for cantilever portion. And therefore, whatever fixed end moments are there for MBE, that will be considered as your final moments. And then using equation 2, 3, and then uh, uh, final moment for MBE, we are going to get equation A. So we have this will be equation A. So we have actually this value that is equal to so fixed end moments we are going to be 50. So we have value, uh, we have made a, a mistake over here. So we have this value that is equal to 50 kilo newton. Sorry, is it, it is correct? So this is minus 50 plus 20. So this will be minus 30 goes on this side becomes plus 30. So this will be equation A. Then at joint C we have this will be equation B where we have this will be minus 30 on right side. And solving equation uh, two A and B we are going to get E i theta B and E i theta C. Now substitute these values in equation 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 uh, 5, 6. We will get all the final moments. Now here also as it is symmetrical, so we have EI theta B, EI theta C, same in magnitude opposite in direction. Then MAB 9.23, then MBA 18.46, MBC we have minus 38.46, MCB 38.46, 
Then we have MCD minus 18.46, MDC minus 9.2. And then we have this given frame and then moment. So we have this value 9.23, 18.46. Then we have this value as 20 over here. Then 38.46, 38.46. Then we have again 20 over here. And then we have this value 18.46. And this value actually we have 9.23. So this is also we have 9.23. So this will be our um, BMD, and this BMD we have due to final uh, final moments, and then we have due to simple support we have only load on BC, so we have WL by four, and that we will get it as 100 kilonewton meter. Now we have PIP problem was solved by Achilles. We have step one that is kinematic indeterminacy. Now here we have theta b theta c two, but using modified it becomes one. And then we have step two fixed end moments. So we have here all three we have fixed end moments. So minus wl square by twelve. But keep in mind for this twenty we are going to get moment anti clockwise. So m b d we have clockwise, which will be value plus and m db we have anti-clockwise which will be value minus for fixed end moments that we have to keep in mind so low if load is on this side opposite side means if load is on this side then we have reverse one this will develop moment clockwise so fixed end moment we have here anti-clockwise and then fixed end moment we will get over here that will be clockwise that we have to keep in mind only and then we have ba we have 20 then mf bc Minus WL by 8, so minus 50, 50. This will be first F B D. Just I have mentioned this B D. We are going to get it as clockwise. So this will be plus and D B we are going to be with minus. And then we will go slow to an equation for member A B we have again theta is zero, delta zero because non sway frame beam is with fixed support, also with simple support. And then M A B we have this will be equation one. Now we can go with BA also. Then we have this will be equation two. Now switch over to MBD. So we have MBD. This will be in terms of only theta B because delta and theta D is zero. And then MDB we are going to get. This will be again minus 10 plus EI by two theta B. That will be equation number four. Now go to member BC where we are going to use the modified slope deflection equation and we will substitute the values. We are going to get this equation. Now delta we have zero. So MBC we are going to get likewise. Now for uh, next step we have equilibrium equations or joint equilibrium we can have MBA plus MBC plus MBD. And that is zero using equation two, three and five. We will substitute these values and we will get equation in terms of theta B. So we have this will be 11 EI by 4 theta B plus 7.5 equal to 0. Use me EI by EI theta B as minus 2.73. And then substitute these values in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We are going to get final moments. So MAB we will get minus 21.73. MBA we will get 17.27. Then MBD we have 7.27. MDB we have minus 8.64. MBC we are going to get is it as minus 24.54. Now we have this as given frame. Then we have this value 21.37 and 17.27, which will be for uh, AB and uh, BA. So you can see this value. So MF AB we have minus 21.37 anti-clockwise and BA clockwise 17.27. And then we have remaining values over here. So accordingly, we have plotted this bending moment diagram. So we have this will be due to final moments. And then we have WL square by 8 for AB, which will give us 30 value. Then for BC, WL by 4, we have 40 value. And then this will be again w, WL by 4, which will give me 20 value. And then this will be by BMD by superposition. Uh, then we have this sixth problem, which was solved by Sonia. Yeah, that was from August 2019. And then we have kinematic indeterminacy again two similar problem we have seen where we have no loading in BD and we have one uh, uh, extra load that is on AB. So I will not go much in detail with this. So we have this will be same no change. We are going to get MFBA, MFBC, MFCB. Then slope deflection equations we have over here. And then knowing the slope deflection equation for member AB, now we will go for a, B, and now we will be with B, A. This will be equation two. Now go to member B, C, where you are going to, we are going to use 
modified slope deflection equation gives me value that the equation that will be uh, minus 67.5 plus 3i by 2 theta b and that will be 3. Now I will apply joint equilibrium which will be at b and we are going to get these values by using equation 2 and 3 from which we are going to get value of ei theta b. Knowing value of ei theta b, we can find the final moments that is mab, mb and mbc. We know mcb is 0. So mab we are going to get as minus 24.23, mba we will get it as 41.54. Same value we will get for bc with minus sign, minus 41.54. So ab minus, uh, we have cb minus. And then we have to plot it. So this will be given frame. Then we have first that value 24.23, 41.54. Then we have 41.540. Then we have for AB, WL square by 8. And then for BC, we have WL by 4. So we have this will be from August uh, 2019. And then we have, sorry, this is from August 2019. So we have this was solved by Pragati. Now this you can see, we are going to see it symmetrical with center, but if you will see over here, then we have i value that is changed. Here i is 4i by 3, and therefore this frame becomes a frame. This is most important one, symmetrical by all means. Here i is not symmetrical, so this problem goes to sway. So we have to just consider uh, delta that is in horizontal direction. And that is for column AB and CD because say sway is related with AB and CD will not affect your BC. Now three we have theta B, theta C and delta. So then fixed end moment AB zero, we do not have any load BA zero, CD, DC also zero. And for BC we have minus WL by eight and plus WL by eight. So minus 30 plus 30, CD we have zero. Then step three, we have slope deflection equation A, B. Now we have with delta theta A zero, but we are with theta B and delta. So this will be my equation number one. Now go for B, A. Then we have again theta B and delta. So we are going to have this equation E, I theta B minus three E, I by A delta, which will be second equation. Then go for member B, C. Now here we do not have any delta. Delta is related with column because sway is for column, not for beams. So we have all uh, theta B and theta C, we have these uh, two unknowns of uh, slopes. So MBC, we are going to get equation in this way. So we have minus 30 plus EI theta B plus EI theta C by two. This will be equation three. And similarly, we can write equation four over here. Now, but when we will go for CD, my value of I is four by three I. That I have to keep in mind. Here theta D zero, but we have delta and theta C. So fixed end moments are also zero. So we are going to get from this value. So <clears throat> MCD, we have four by three EI theta C minus EI by two delta, and that will be my fifth equation. And similarly, I can write equation for DC. <coughs> so we have equation for DC. So we can see equation for DC, we have uh, in this way, and then MDC, we will get 2 by 3 EI theta C minus EI by 2 delta, which will be 6. Now, equilibrium equation, we have joint B, MBA plus MBC 0. And using equations 2 and 3, we are going to get this first equation, which will be 2 EI theta B plus EI by 2 theta C minus 3 EI by 2 delta. That is equal to 13. This will be equation 1. Now, we have joint C. And there we are going to go, we are using equation 2, that will be equation that is MCB plus MCD, and that is equal to 0. And from this we are going to get equation EI, EI by 2 theta B plus 7 by 3 EI theta C minus EI delta equal to minus 30. So this is my equation number 2. But as we have three unknowns, that is theta B, theta C and delta, so we have to go for third equation. And this is most most important one, which will be our shear equilibrium equation. So we are going to apply Fx0. So whole frame, if you will consider, then we are going to get this as HA plus SD equal to 0 because we do not have any load in horizontal direction. Now we are going to separate out the columns. So no loads are there. So we have HA, that will be reaction. We may have reaction here, but we are not interested with this because we are going to get moment at B. Similarly, here also we have reaction, but we are going to uh, consider that moment at C. So this reaction again is not required. 
so when i will take moment about the uh, b0 so we have minus ha into 4 so we have this as 4 meters and similarly we have this also as 4 meters and then we are going to minus ha into 4 plus m a b plus m b a 0 and from which we will get value of ha similarly we can have moment about c0 <coughs> we will get value for hd now we will substitute this value of ha and hd in the equation which is uh, equation we have for summation fx0 and that equation we have ha plus hd equal to 0 now we have just substituted these values of ha and hd uh, in this equation of CR equilibrium and that will gives us equation that is m a b plus m b a equal to a m b a upon 4 plus m c d plus m d c upon 4 which is equal to 0. Now we will take this 4 on right side become 0 and we will substitute value of m a b from equation 1, m b a from 2, m c d from equation 5 and m d c from equation 6. And from this we are going to get actually these values <clears throat> this one equation, so this value, first value we are going to be with m a b, then we are going to get second value which will be for m b a, then we have this value which will be for m c d, and this value we have for m d c. And then by solving this we are going to get, this will be third equation, solve these three equations simultaneously, we are going to get value of e i theta b 18.63 e i theta c minus 17.78 e i delta minus 4.35. Now, let's put these values in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are going to get all these final moments. So, m a b 20.26, <clears throat> m b a 20.26, both clockwise, m b c we will get minus 20.26 kN meter. C b we are going to get it as 21.54 kN meter. Then m c d if we will go minus 21.54 and m d c we are going to get it as minus 9.68 kN meter and then plot your uh, bmd so we have this will be 20.26 for both clockwise so we are going to be in this fashion then here we have <coughs> bc minus cb we are going to be clockwise plus so we have likewise then we have cd minus and we have dc also minus so we have this will be my final moments diagram and then we will plot only w l by 4 which will be for dc and this will be my bmd by superposition so we have these problems which we have considered from last five, four to five university question papers that was on frames already for brims we have already have a video so this was for your friends so thank you